Welcome to another episode of TrackCast. I'm your host, Rich Hansen. And in previous episode, you saw us talk with Don Baird about the new Paradox Red. Um, today, we're gonna do another comparison for you, the Paradox Red. I've got Mitch Beasley with me, and he's gonna throw the Paradox Red, and we're gonna compare it to the Paradox 5, and is also the Paradox Black. All right, so here we are with Mitch Beasley, and we're having Mitch throw the Paradox Red versus the Paradox 5. Now, the Paradox 5 came out last season. This is a Pearl Paradox. Clean through the front, good strong break point at the back end, but still a very strong core, so it read the mid lane strong. It's really good for medium, maybe a little bit of oily conditions. Mm -hmm. um, but this new 5 we've designed to be stronger overall than this one and actually more back end than the Paradox Black. We'll watch Mitch throw a few shots, and we'll talk about what Mitch sees in the lane. Sounds good. All right, so first let's talk about the Paradox 5, which you're seeing on the lane. A little straighter than these other balls, mm -hmm. cleaner through the front, a little more responsive down lane reaction. Why don't you talk about when you're throwing the Paradox 5 and when it fits in your game and what kind of patterns you're usually throwing it on. Yeah, I mean, the Paradox 5, it's Pearl, so it's a cleaner through the front, it's more responsive down lane. Now we've still got the big, strong I-Core in it, so that gives us lots of mid lane, picks up strong and gives us that good, strong forward roll down lane to the pin deck, mm -hmm. so it hits hard. So I use this on the kind of medium to medium heavy and the medium to a little bit longer patterns mm -hmm. when I need to be a little cleaner, a little more responsive, or I need a little straighter through the front, but I still need that strong, heavy motion down lane. Right, and so now on the Paradox Red, we put a new cover stock on it. This is the Prime um, ET cover stock, so it's gonna give you a little bit more traction when the ball sees friction and in the mid lane. Mm -hmm. um, so compared to the five, we should see this ball probably about three to four boards deeper in the lane, mm -hmm. um, but much more stronger throughout the entire lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely have this one a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. I'm probably somewhere between six and three and eight and four left mm -hmm. with my feet in target. It's got a lot more mid lane and then just more overall hook mm -hmm. with that strong down lane motion. Yeah, this one you can chase a little deeper in the pattern. You mm -hmm. can get away from the track a little bit. So mm -hmm. when the track goes through its transition, mm -hmm. you're not gonna be affected as much by, mm -hmm. by it by you would be with the Paradox 5 being closer to it. Mm -hmm. um, definitely more overall hook. Definitely handles more oil. Um, definitely. But definitely doesn't use it in the front. It's, it's more no. mid lane and back end reaction. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. So now let's move on to the Paradox Black and we'll have Mitch compare the red to the uh, Paradox Black. Paradox Black was a tour favorite for a lot of players. Mm -hmm. um, because it came sanded, it sees a lot more play in the lane for the tour guys compared to the Paradox 5. Because mm -hmm. you guys usually need balls. Not super shiny, not super skid flip. You want the ball that's stronger in the mid lane, controls mm -hmm. the lane more, more predict predictable, right? Well, on tour, we need the ball to pick up heavy in the mid lane and get into a really strong roll. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of rev rate on tour, so we don't need bowling balls to get too far down the lane or be too responsive, but we don't need something that's weak. So right. this gives us lots of mid lane, allows us to control the lane, really heavy, strong forward roll, mm -hmm. really drives to the pin well. It's really good for your little higher speed, right. bowlers, a little more speed dominance, great. Now the new red, we've designed this one if in comparison to the black. The black was the strong front, strong mid lane, mm -hmm. more controlled back end. We want this one to be a little bit cleaner, mm -hmm. but more responsive down lane. Um, so throwing these today, how do you see these two comparing and when do you see yourself transitioning to these balls back and forth? Well, this I would see myself using it a little bit more on the fresh when I'm trying to get a little bit straighter but have that strong heavy roll, mm -hmm. but I don't want the ball to over back in too hard. This one for me is cleaner. It still has great mid lane, but has more down lane, a little right. more responsive down lane. So for this, this continues more. For me, it actually outhooks the Paradox Black but it does it more down lane. Right. So if I need to open my angles, but I need to stay in a big ball, then I can go to this, open up the angles, and stay in the big ball. Yeah, so you're actually gonna be a little bit deeper with the red. Mm -hmm. Even though it's cleaner, 
you have to allow for that more responsive reaction down mm -hmm. lane and mm -hmm. more overhook down lane. So you got to be a little bit deeper through the front to get it to get a little bit further right, but mm -hmm. then come back more. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. So this is a ball for the fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a ball for when the lanes transition, and you need that bigger booming reaction down lane. Oh, definitely. For more information about the new Paradox Red, please visit trackbowling.com. And as always, like us on Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on the latest information from the TrackCast.